Welcome back, everyone. Okay, today we are gonna start with the question number 34 and the test set number 8. Okay, let's start right away. The question number 8. 34. Which of the following can be the polar coordinate of r equals sine theta? Okay, in this polar coordinate, it's, it's consisted of radius, comma, theta, right? So, uh, for example, like say a, when you put pi over 6 in place of theta, let's say sine pi over 6 got to be equal to 1 over 2, right? Oh, it is equal to 1 over 2, which has got the answer 0 0.5 comma pi over 6 is the correct answer. Can be the polar coordinate of the r equals sine theta. A, which has got the right away, is the correct answer. 35. How long does it take for a house that is uh, that to worth 27,000, okay, uh, if the price has increased 3% annually? So, this is simple times 1 plus 0 0.03 to the number of years, number of years, y is equal to 270000. Okay, solve this equation, solve for y, y got to be equal to 20 years. Okay, verify this by your own, okay, e. Once you set up this kind of equation, then uh, now, then rest of it is uh, easy work, right, as you could see. Let's move on, number 36. Which of the following is correct? F and X is equal to AX to fifth plus BX fourth and then A and B are real numbers. Okay, since it, we're dealing with the X to the fifth power and B to the fourth power, right? The range of F and X is, of course, all real numbers. And F and X has two real distinct real roots, right? Distinct roots, actually gotta have five at least, right? Three, third statement, if y x is equal to negative two, f and x is less than zero. Oh, okay. Put two in place of x, it is 32a uh, minus 32a plus 16b. But we don't know the value of a and b, right? So we cannot say f and this is great, less than zero or greater than zero or even equal to zero. So third statement is not true, only first and second is true. C is our correct answer. An isosceles triangle uh, has sides 774 units long. What is the value of the angle formed by the two contingent sides? Okay, so 774. What, what do you think of now? To find the uh, angle alpha, right, we got to use the law of cosine. Again, the law of cosine, right? 4 squared got to be equal to 7 squared times uh, plus 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times 7 times cosine alpha, right? Alpha will be equal to 33 degrees, right? The of cosine was a key point here. B is our correct answer. If f and x is x third plus 1, then the inverse of the x is, okay, solve this. y is equal to x third plus 1, right? Convert the place where x is equal to y third plus one. Then move this. Y to third is x minus one. Therefore, y is equal to third root of x minus one. Okay, this is it. Third root of x minus one, e is our correct answer. 39, in the figure below, O is the center of the circle and AO is two. Um, COH at 30 degree. What is the length of AC? To find out the length of AC, we got to first know length of OC, right? How do you find this out? By using cosine, yeah, right? Using cosine degree is equal to 2 over length of OC, right? Length of OC. Find this out first. And then what can we use? Since uh, the angle here is what is it 180 minus 30 which is 150 degree right now we can we know this length and this length right an angle in between right use the law of cosine here again right and then find out the length of ac which will be equal to 4.16 right e will be our correct answer verify this okay.